Hi there, it's Emerson at Tyrium Games. How's it going? Uh, just just a little update and a tiny little tutorial, or just a not really a tutorial, more of just a this is how I did it, and you can probably do this too. Uh, I've just been working on making menus for my game. Uh, it's at that point where I'd like to kind of get it ready for packaging, and uh, of course you've got to have menus. Now these aren't built into Unreal, unfortunately. So, and uh, Blueprint. Uh, options aren't really aren't really there especially for controller config so in the last video I covered um, how to put in the controller this configuration uh, I've since customized it a little bit I got a little bit more work to do on that one um, and so I've got controller and game settings now the game settings one is all important obviously changing your uh, your video and I mean your, your graphic settings uh, on the fly is, is really uh, going to be a, a nice part of any game. Um, and this is quite a lengthy process. It would be a, a lengthy process, I should say, if not for these uh, pre-built version that will soon be out on the marketplace. Now, I was uh, lucky enough to um, uh, l lucky enough to to be uh, given a beta copy and then a, a final copy of this uh, to install. And so, um, what I'm going to show you uh, is how, how, ooh, how that came about. All right. So, uh, what I did was, well, let me cut to the cut to the beginning. Uh, the user Scraphead from Reddit um, has very kindly offered, just th through saying, um, yes, I would like to try that out. Uh, he has um, he has submitted his quality games menu to the Trello board for the marketplace. So this will be coming out soon, any day now. And I'm not sure on the price, but I, I, I wouldn't imagine he'd make it too expensive. And he's gone to a lot of trouble to make this customizable and really neat. So uh, get on there, even though it's coming already, get onto the Trello board. Um, just Google uh, Unreal for uh, Marketplace Trello board and vote for that, as you can see I've done here. And then what it, you'll get the project um, and in the project uh, what you get is uh, just little uh, examples of um, you know how it Bravo works tonight. and you can then from here you can you can you know set it up this is what it looks like by default so I haven't made too many changes I've still got a lot of uh, a lot of work to do on that one um, but basically run through all the different things and in order to get that into your project what you need to do is go to the content browser and you need to migrate this the quality menu you just go to migrate here right click in the content browser on quality menu then migrate it gives you a list you say OK to that huge list then in uh, where you've got your game save usually my documents you just click on the content folder and go OK, and it will send all of these files, including the example room stuff, which you'll need to delete. Uh, it, it said it didn't export it, but it actually did in my project. So once you've got that into your own content browser, um, it'll look like this. You'll have those same files within your project. And the main, the main one is run off this settings menu main, uh, uh, which I have been hacking away at a little bit to customize it but before I went and destroyed it I thought I'd, I'd make a quick video um, and then you just need to call that from a UMG menu and in my case I didn't want it to be from a key press I wanted it to be from my own menu that I'd already been working on because I had the key the keys already um, configured so um, what uh, what that looks like I'll give you a quick look at that on just how to call it um, is all right let's so let's go to the start menu it's a little messy start menu um, so there's my menu um, just in the UMG which is super easy and it's really great didn't take long to figure out at all I'm really pleased it's all uh, very um, well made for the beginners and the other people so I've got a controller button uh, and this is uh, um, what it looks like so I've got it to remove. I've got two versions. Or not, yeah, I've got two menus. One's, one's during play, and the other one is uh, start menu, and they differ slightly. Um, so I've, um, but I've got the same buttons that I've, I've generated. Uh, so yeah, you just um, 
remove the old menu in my case and rather than having a keystroke to launch it you just create the main menu widget um, which is um, oh no I've got the wrong button <laughs> well this is an example so <laughs> so uh, yeah once you once you hit the uh, the, the this is the uh, actual controller config so that's that's a little different I'm, I'm gonna going back over that again that was a waste of your time wasn't it this one sorry about that um, so we just go to the button because I've created a button so I can uh, you can nest uh, widgets so instead of making two buttons on two menus I make one button and instance it between the two all right here we go so you move remove the the menu and the uh, just in case the um, during game menu and the start menu and then you create the settings menu the menu main and add it to the viewport and then the thing that I had to do that was a little bit different um, was to make it so it would close well, rather than he had um, it so it closed it went back to the game started back into the game but I wanted it to go back to my other menus before you resume so what that looks like is um, within this uh, he's got a cancel a quick game which is which is fine but in the apply and the OK button um, I just added this code so his code ends here um, and and it exits uh, and unpauses but I've actually already called a pause on the previous menu so yeah basically it, it's casting to see if my boolean to see whether it's in the game or not so whether to show which menu um, don't worry about that one too much but yeah so it just removes the widget um, the old the menu and then gets my other menus depending on whether you're you've started the game or not or chosen a player at least and then you add that to the viewport and set input mode UI only and what that does is um, uh, means that you you don't need to click twice to get into the menu sometimes uh, you'll know what I mean if you're making these you make a menu and you you have to click twice to get back so it's a bit um, unintuitive but there's set input mode and then there's set game uh, game UI yeah set input mode um, game and UI um, wait no that's not right let me find this one for you excuse the noise yeah set input mode game only is the one you're looking after looking for so that'll mean that you it only be controlled by the game and the 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 um, and the other one input mode UI only means it it'll it'll uh, only let you click UI not control the background so that one's a good good one to understand to con to switch between the two I hope that makes sense <laughs> uh, hope I'm making sense for someone yeah and so that's really all I need to do as far as um, my menu is concerned is uh, start the game choose the player you see if this is resume game now so I can uh, get the game settings and change those ah uh, let me <laughs> I yeah I've only made it so that the one character so far because I've just got this going you might you might realize um, so let's try that again only works when I use the farmer <laughs> at this point uh, don't ask why it's just how it's set up um, so resume yeah you can go game settings uh, change those all on the fly the field of view the not all of these are hooked up exactly yet you have to go in and manually add a few and apply that and then resume the game and everything looks like crudsies cool well thanks for watching and go and uh, vote and make sure you get that quality game settings menu it's pretty awesome and easy to implement and uh, yeah thanks for watching um, I hope this helped you out cheers